New York Sanitation had a tipping floor durability problem at their North Shore Marine facility. They ended up solving the problem with Yuko Floor 404. But how did they decide on that product? Hi, this is Bob Swan with Heavy Duty Concrete Floors. Let's get into why they needed to resurface their floors at all and why they chose Yuko Floor 404 for the job. The facility is located right on the Hudson Bay and handles between 1,500 and 2,000 tons of MSW per day. I'm going to take a minute to go over how the garbage is actually processed at the facility. There are two levels to the facility. The trucks enter and exit on the upper level on the right hand side and go through a waste scale. New York Sanitation refers to that floor as the tipping floor. The trucks then back up to a railing to dump their loads onto the loading floor down below. This is a relatively poor photograph, but you can see the trucks emptying from the elevated deck on the right hand side, dumping the garbage onto the loadout floor down below. Front end loaders then use that back corner as a push wall to fill up the buckets, then transport the garbage to the opposite side of the floor where it's deposited down through one of several ports. After the loaders drop the garbage through the ports into the containers down below, a tamper is used to consolidate the load. After the containers are full, a traveler is used to move them outside, where a gantry crane puts the containers on a barge and the material is transported away. At most transfer stations, the high wear area is up near the port edges, but in this facility, because they use this corner to load out the buckets, this corner becomes the highest wear area on the entire floor. So obviously the main problem area for New York Sanitation was this loadout floor down below. The floor was designed with a base structural slab that was then topped with a 3 to 4 inch sacrificial slab. But even using 6 to 8,000 psi concrete, the sacrificial slab would wear out way too quickly usually within three to five years. This would then force a seven to 10 day shutdown, which consisted of removal of any remaining sacrificial slab, pouring out new concrete, then allowing that concrete to cure a minimum of three to five days before putting the floor back into service. Another problem they have, which is true of many tipping floors, is that the floor is constantly wet. The concrete is exposed to all of the organics that are in the MSW, and this leachate is then driven into the surface by a combination of rubber cutting edges and the tires on the loader. When we take a look at why a floor deteriorates, we believe the chemical attack may be responsible for as much as 30% of that deterioration, with the other 70% simply coming from abrasion and impact. Over the years, they had tried a number of different approaches to increase the durability and therefore the longevity of the sacrificial topping. The options they tried included silica fume concrete, the use of steel fibers, trap rock aggregate, and emery toppings. All of them failed to meet management's expectations. But in 2018, Euclid Chemical approached New York Sanitation and suggested they try Euclid Floor 404. This is a product that had been on the market for over 15 years and had proven itself as incredibly durable at a number of other transfer stations. There are several reasons why the product does well on a tipping floor. Let's take a look at a couple of items that are listed on the product's data sheet. The first thing that jumps out is the very high compressive strength. For a cement-based product, 15,000 PSI at 28 days is unusual. The product is able to achieve those high strengths because of a combination of raw materials used to manufacture Yuko Floor 404, as well as a water to cement ratio well below 0 0.30. Another important feature is the product's very low permeability. Because chemical attack generated by leachate can be responsible for up to 30% of the floor's deterioration, having a floor that doesn't easily absorb liquids helps add to the product's long-term durability. The New York Sanitation Management was impressed with the product's references and technical aspects. Now they wanted to see how the product was going to perform specifically in their facility. So arrangements were made for a mock-up that would be monitored for at least six months and then a decision would be made on whether or not to use the product. Remember, they had been burned in the past with other materials and they didn't want to take any more chances at having a failing floor. 
The area they selected was right back here in the corner, where the loaders used that corner as push walls to load the buckets. There was not much question this was where the action was on the loadout floor. If the product held up here, it would hold up everywhere on the floor. After they had pushed garbage on the mock-up for over six months, Yuko Floor 404 had shown so little wear compared to the surrounding 6,000 PSI concrete that New York Sanitation made the decision to use this product to resurface both the loadout floor as well as the tipping floor. In early 2019, New York Sanitation instructed the engineering firm HDR to write up the specs to overlay the floor with Yuko Floor 404. In early 2020, Infrastructure Repair Services, the contracting firm who had installed the original mock-up, overlaid both floors with 404 at the North Shore Marine Facility. It was a combined 30,000 square foot project. For additional product information, go to yukofloor404.com, where you can also find my contact info, or give Infrastructure Repair Services a call at 973-692-0002. This is Bob Swan with HD Heavy Duty Concrete Floors. Thank you.